Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And we got a little bit of a different content for you. Uh, these items I actually got on sale. This was from the fall winter 2022, the season that just kind of ended. They just had another installment, but the spring summer 23 is going to start up soon. Aimee Leon Dora, as you can tell by the title. Let's get into these three items and start out. Sorry about the little focus issue we just had. I will bring up the first item you see in the bubble wrap. So I wrapped this up and it did come nicely shipped and packaged. And what we have here today is a cool little accessory called the village tray. And this can be used for a bunch of different things. It's a pretty reasonable size. Um, I have large hands, but not huge hands. And uh, this tray I would say is probably about five inches, maybe five and a half something like that maybe six six by about four probably and it is a solid porcelain tray and you can see the village you have the man and the woman down there and to me it looks like i know uh teddy santis's origins are greek so this could be greek but then again a lot of this also looks like um could be hungarian could be turkish it's just very interesting concept to me of where they got it i think it's mainly taking inspiration from greece though and I like the way this came out. And on the back, you do have the Aimé Leon Dor print with Queens, New York. So this is porcelain. You can hear the little clank right there. Nice quality, really cool tray. And I actually got it on sale for $15. I think they are regularly $24, something like that. And like I said, you could use it for keys. You can use it for change, like a valet tray. You can actually use it for a soap dish if you want to leave soap on there in your bathroom. And the next item, we have a brown tea I got in the collection that I got on sale for around 50 bucks as opposed to the normal 85 retail. There is the Aimé Leondor tag right there, size XL. I am normally a large, I'm more of a thinner, taller build, so I like my shirts a little bit loose, so I go a size up to an XL. They fit pretty true to size, just in case you're wondering if you want something a little more form-fitting. You have the Aimé Leondor World's Fair logo down there from Queens, New York. That's by Corona Park. I don't know if anybody is familiar with that area. Pretty famous site. This is printed on the front by the left breast pocket area, if there would be a pocket there. And then that same logo is printed on the center back, just very enlarged. And it is like a darker brown color. It's not like a camel or a lighter brown like that. It's more of a darker brown. And that is a botanical green there, which is supposed to be ALD's color. And you can see brown sugar fall winter 2022 on the Unisphere T tag right there. And all these shirts that ALD makes, most of them when they make them are made in Canada, 100% cotton. The quality is really nice. Another ALD tag, it says XL in the bottom corner that you can't see is covered. And this was part of the Molina collection. This is the Molina ashtray. As you can see, the cigarette butts, the ashtray. I'm kind of looking like a plaid picnic table cloth or blanket. Um, I think it's tartan, but yeah, plaid, we'll call it that. And flipping down to the bottom, you can have the Aimé Leon door underneath. It's kind of like the poster they sold. I believe they actually made a poster with this exact print on it that was available during that season. Uh, Molina's are usually a lot of their uh, inspiration for their posters. They had, a, I actually have a Molina poster hanging on the wall. Um, I could shoot a video on some of the posters I bought, but I think they're really nice. I like the quality. ALD is one of my favorite brands because um, you guys know I'm a little bit older. I'm not a younger generation as of now. So like I'm not younger than 25. If I was, I would be able to wear some more of the like Supreme stuff and Palace. But as you mature, you want to still keep the style you like because this is, I, I have a certain style, but I don't want to look too immature, but more like, you know, elegant, more, more grown up in a way, but not like overdone like people have like with dad fashion and stuff like that which drives me nuts but clothes like this that ALD makes feels like something you can wear streetwear but as an older person you don't feel like you look ridiculous I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm saying that right but that's just me that's just how I feel about it ALD though is my favorite brand right now currently I love their clothes they're just so expensive so I try to get more stuff on sale some of their stuff I do buy because I know it will sell out and I want it for myself but most of the time, none of their stuff I usually buy for resale. It's usually for the personal my collection. I do have more stuff I haven't shot videos on. Maybe I'll do that in the future. Let me know which item you like down below. Have you picked anything from their recent seasons or drops? We have a new season coming up soon. So let me know what you guys are interested in and what you're looking to get in the future. I will try to answer back to everybody in the comments, get some conversation going. I thank you all for the support, and I'll see you around the next video. And I hope everybody has a great day. All right?